Yeah, what up, people? Go by the name Street Beats. As you can see, I'm out here with Ground Up Charlie and Roland. It's all about beats and life. You don't know. Shit. We are in Tema, site 14. This is where I fell in love with music. Down there, I used to play Palugo. Actually, that's where we record the culture, like troops and all. That's how I started. We used to have the Sabo house for our rehearsal house most of the time. So every Saturday, I'll never forget. I was 13 by then. When it comes to producers from Ghana, Posiji, Q Beats, Met Mix, name them. Everyone comes from Tema. As you can see, it's always good coming back inside the hoods, meeting all the guys, meeting all the people I used to know way back when I was 12, 13. Like, same energy, same vibe, you don't know. All this kind of energies and the vibes helps us create music. So as of now, we just get inside the studio. And I'll let you see where I'm going. Okay, so I grew up listening to songs like uh, our Ghanaian High Life, the hip life at that time. Um, names like Obrafo, Lord Kenya, Dr. Pabobo, like those names. Actually, our fathers didn't have the money to get all this um, big, big CDs whereby I don't even know it's the name just to play the foreign songs for us to listen. So I just grew up on this our local stuff. But thank God I was a creator. So I started creating myself. How I got myself into music called the name Street Beats. Um, way back in my old hood where we went to, um, we used to get people who got the chance to travel outside the country. So they bring stuff like way back we have this pen drive form whereby it was a modem so i got one from a friend and i had to sell it because that was the ways and means you get the gadgets from people then you sell it take the money back and make some ends meet so i literally took one of those to kewa that's where i learned the production from so when I went to Kewa after the business transaction, luckily Castro was there and when I got there, the vibe was good. So I was like, yo, so this is how music goes about. I just got interested in like a second. So I I, I think I, I stayed in the studio for eight months with the same clothes. Yeah, so along the line, um, Stone Boy has given me the, the mindset of being a producer already. So I started it when I go to KOS end. Then I met Humble this of R2Bs, that's Pedia's junior brother. So I made him listen a bit and he was like, yo, this beat is street beats. I, I like this. This is this is more of the street. Uh, so that's how come I got the name Street Beats. Actually, I've worked with a whole lot of artists, likes like Stoneboy, Sakodia, Moogies, Payday, Mix Banks, Darko, Tenny, Ice Prince, like a whole lot of them. My favorite producers growing up here in Africa, Don Jazzy, Q Beat, Kewa. And uh, outside there, that's DJ Khaled and dr dre my favorite artist to work with is like it's gonna be stone boy because we go way back half history together way back in the hoods of a shaman when i was little right it was a shaman in tema all the time so most of the times when i get to a shaman i'm with him most of the time so for the work chemistry it's it's 100 there with him so no doubt, Stone Boy. Um, for the hit songs, I've produced a whole lot of them. I think I can't mention all, but likes of Adonai by Sarko Deer, Hero by Stone Boy, Plantain Chips by R2Bs, Gin and Lime by uh, Darko Vibes. A lot, a lot. I can't just mention everything now.
my favorite beat I've ever produced. Come on, man. So I went to the club, go wasted, came back. So I just go, I just go home and I just decided to take everything off, all my clothes, and just sleep. So the following morning, I just went to the bathroom, came back. And then my laptop was there, had my MIDI controller also. I just connected it and added my um, headphone. So I just started like adding up stuff. And my favorite, that, that makes that song, my favorite, one of the favorite songs and my favorite beat, that's Sugar by Stoneboy featuring Beanie Man. An artist dead or alive I would like to produce for, that would probably be Vibes Cartel. And I can still have Movado on it, like a collaboration. That would be massive. My favorite Roland instrument will be um, the Roland A49. Yo, one crazy, one crazy um, MIDI controller, you know. So I remember producing uh, Plantain Chips by r 2 b with it. It has this soft touch, like. And if you listen to that song, you get a feeling like, I was just feeling the piano vibe. Yeah, magical. VST, whereby I'm gonna make a whole, a lot of my my drum patterns in it. I think I'll need some percussions from same Xenology because trust me, um, having the the drum patterns in this VST is super super dope. So I can get something like this. So this 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 brings everything for the Afro dance or that's dance or from dance or from Ghana. So so uh so now I'm just gonna hop on onto the keys and uh, for the keys we have first of all I'm gonna use Xenology again because I love it and I'm gonna use um, something from the orchestra which is the ensemble strings, the echo vocals. Then I just, I'm just gonna have something like. As, as you can already see, I have I have that, so I'm just gonna solo that as well. So actually, I was playing on a high high octave, but now I have to just change it real quick on a on a low octave just to get the feeling like I want it to sound heavier. So this is from Xenology, the orchestra ensemble strings. I think I got the beats from the intro and I came to an 8 bars verse then I'm going to the chorus now so with the chorus I think when it gets there when it gets, gets to this point I need something I'll be like and I know Roland, Roland got me sorted so same I'm gonna go to the SRX studios and I'm going to choose from okay so I'm gonna use the majesty then I'm gonna have As you can see, Street Beats, Roland Cloud, Ground Up Charlie, Dan No Beats and Life, Link Up, Cheats. 